My name is H.A. Goodman, and I'm an author, columnist, and journalist to support this YouTube channel, since there's a lot of weird changes going on with YouTube that is even affecting this channel. Um, so definitely subscribe, but also look at the Patreon link below in the description section. I appreciate your support, and um, I don't think I talk about anything controversial, but um, there's some things going on, very bizarre, with uh, changes affecting uh, YouTubers, especially perhaps the nature of the political discussion that we engage in. Um, so your Patreon support is greatly appreciated. Um, as with every segment, I'm going to go ahead and discuss a comment that struck my eye from the last segment. And there's like so many, I have like what, like 300 plus comments in about an hour. I'll be coming out with a really, really, really cool um, announcement maybe middle of this week or sooner that people are going to really like pertaining to a specific uh, political controversy. You're going to love it. If there was any way to... F <laughs> I'm, reading, I'm actually reading the comment that I'm going to read at the end of this segment. Okay. Clinton emails. Gee, that's fantastic. Every day there's something new. If Trump is not tweeting about it, there is, and I'm not doing a segment, there's just something popping up every second. So today's September 18th, long, long way away from November 8th, 2016, yet we're still talking about it. Here's more evidence Team Hillary tried to destroy. Uh, here's more evidence Team Hillary tried to destroy. New York Post, something else happened the week of Hillary Clinton's book launch, the release of more lost emails that further highlight her corrupt ways. So, essentially, Tom Fitton, Judicial Watch, have emails that show that even more evidence was destroyed, and that even more quid pro quo pay-to-play information or uh, arrangements were involved in Clinton's handling, mishandling, of classified data. There was confidential secret and top secret intelligence on Hillary Clinton's private server. It was unencrypted for three months. And by the way, just doing a little bit of research, more research, guess where she visited and who she met? During her first three months, her, her server was unencrypted. She visited China, and she also met with Russian officials. I will get to that at a later date. But it's important to remember that she had an unencrypted private server, and her first three months of emails were missing. James Comey didn't find it odd that Clinton's first three months of emails were missing. I'm going to say it again because it's just unbelievable. And I don't want YouTube to, um, like, uh, you know, reprimand me, which is why I'm trying to be as, uh, like, non-controversial this segment as possible. Um, so, let's recap, shall we? The first three months of Clinton's emails as Secretary of State are missing. Just coincidentally, those three months, she had a server that was unencrypted. So she had three months of missing emails with a server that was unencrypted, and she happened to visit China, and she happened to meet with... Uh, Russia's Foreign Minister Lavrov. What are the chances you think that Russian intelligence and Chinese intelligence have her emails? Gee, probably pretty good. Then you combine that with a recent article several hours back. Here's more evidence Team Hillary tried to destroy. And then something else happened. Okay, so the watchdog shared 1,600 fresh emails released thanks to the free FOIA lawsuits. So, more deleted emails, more quid pro quo arrangements. We're finding out more of this every day. And the overall story is a completely autonomous private server beyond the reach of the NSA that President Obama didn't know. So I, I usually like harp on the same lines, but there's so many different angles on this. Clinton used a private server, and we have zero clue if she engaged in treason. The reason I say this is because if Trump or Bernie Sanders had their own private server, 
they would be they would have already been accused of treason. We don't know what Clinton did because her emails were deleted without government oversight. She had 33,000 emails deleted without even the NSA or anyone able to look at them. When they were able to look at emails, the 30,000 that she generously allowed the State Department to look at that weren't about yoga, over 2,000 classified, 22 top secret, special access program intelligence. So, and then the issue is how do you get, how do you transfer all that information? So give me your thoughts below. Share this segment everywhere. And one one mess, one comment from, well, I have the best comment section on YouTube. One comment. If there was anything to find, they would have found it. She's gone from hilarious to pathetic. <laughs> so this is regarding Clinton and her quest to relive the election and probably lose again. There could be an election tomorrow and she'd still lose. I firmly believe that Wisconsin, Michigan, and Pennsylvania aren't going to vote for 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 Hillary just because uh, the New York Times and Washington Post and CNN are having a conniption fit. Give me your thoughts below. Share this segment everywhere. Subscribe to this YouTube channel. Let's get this to 100,000. In terms of the monetization, um, my videos are monetized, but I think, they're, I think YouTube is like cracking down on um, political channels, so What's taking place is it's monetized, uh, but some segments are like I have some segments fully monetized or with full ads, and then some segments that are perhaps like controversial in terms of Clinton emails or a one scandal or whatever. Um, it's like it'll it'll say monetized, but not for all advertisers. Something to that effect. So the channel is still thank thankfully monetized, but controversial segments are not as monetized and like some segments I have are like just forget about it like like if it's you know about Syria <laughs> I don't even I like I don't even do any more on those uh, or if you mention certain like countries around the world they'll boom automatically demonetize you anyway that's the way it is and some channels like Tim Black they've just completely and I don't know why, because Tim is an amazing, amazing, powerful voice who's like supremely positive, wonderful, and I have no sellouts at 6 p.m. Pacific, two hours from now. They demonetized 2,000 of his videos, so it's, it's just, um, I have no idea why that, you know, I guess I should, you know, I, I just have no idea why youtube is doing this especially to to youtubers that are providing content that people want to hear want want to want to uh you know hear and and watch some some of these videos that i do whether it's clinton emails or they go like 20 30 40 000. i mean last year they like i had videos hitting 100 000 200 000 views i wasn't using profanity last i mean there's a couple segments a couple months back where i used profanity but that was because of my feud with the Young Turks, but like last year, I had segments 100,000, 200,000 regarding Clinton emails and WikiLeaks, Podesta and DNC emails. That, no profanity, actually reading from reputable sources, all these things. And if YouTube had a new policy, then I might might have been like not as monetized or demonetized on some segments. And my, my question is, why would they... How does this help YouTube? It, it doesn't. They're actually hurting themselves in, ter in terms of revenue. But give me your thoughts below. Share this segment everywhere. Subscribe to this channel. I think the best way to, if, you're, if you, if you want to help Tim Black, you want to help me, subscribe to our channels and, and share our videos everywhere. And uh, I'm very lucky and happy we're on our way to 100,000. So I'm over 87,000 subscribers. Tell everyone, message boards, whatever, social media, tell everyone to subscribe to this channel. Thank you so much for listening.